Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. I could not get out of that without riding the old pipe down through the town sewer system, but previously on the game, we liberated old Toad Town of all of the paper mache soldiers, and we opened the way to Graffiti Underground, which is where we're going to be heading off to right now. So without further ado, we're just going to drop on in and have ourselves a bit of a grand old time down here. Ah, it's so dark in here. Why does everyone seem to like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights? Otherwise, it'll be dark all the way through. Well, considering you won't even let me continue all the way through without turning on the lights. Yeah, uh, I guess I have no choice but to turn them on. So, there we go. And Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a perfect graffiti. So, before going too far, we're going to head over here and start filling everything in because this is the first area of the entire game that we can complete to 100% uh, finishing statuses uh, amongst other things on our first visit. Who's there? <gasps> oh my goodness. Yes, I'm saved. Oh Mario, I had to run down here and hide from those horrible folded soldiers. <gasps> Pardon me, I should introduce myself. I'm the curator of Musée Champignon in Toe Town. It's a museum with a splendid collection of objects, music, treasures, origami, and other wondrous items. Oh my god, we have even managed to acquire the legendary Super Marino Sea Vessel, believe it or not. Look how close he got. Do you hope you'll come visit? We're open, even with all the orga origamized crime we've seen of late. Cute. <laughs> Alright, later, nerd. <laughs> yeah, just kind of getting closer. It was all I could focus on, but maybe the words are more important. I already forgot what he said. Yeah, so we'll go and check it out later. No need to uh, backtrack because although it's accessible, not really worth it. So, uh, let's head over here, turn the light on, and uh-oh, we're going to get ambushed by swoops. So, it's a wave battle, and it's finally a different type of enemy. Not that a whole lot has really changed because they're still at basically, you know, eye level. But now they're going to be angry, and if you let them attack you, they're going to do a lot more damage. So, yeah, it's great to have the Toads we rescued cheering for us. You know, what would make him even more excited is getting paid. Of course, we gotta pay our crown to be here. So, for as long as you're holding the Y button, um, you'll be spending more money to have the Toads do more for us in battle. I'm not entirely sure what the formula is, we don't have to do it, but let's go ahead and just focus on this because we don't need them at the moment. And, um, yeah, you really, for like even 200 coins, they will just literally line everyone up for you. You won't get a bonus at the end, but... It's still something to take into consideration if you're having a little bit of trouble. So they give you an abundance of money basically for that aspect of the battles, the cheering component. And then you also are able to buy more time. So it's really weird. So I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Ooh, that was kind of interesting. Do we just need to do... Bum, 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 bum. I guess we can just do this. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. It's a weird way to have it set up. You can also do a complete eagle eye view if that's something you're having trouble visualizing with the default angle. The first jump on these swoop and swaps are probably the most difficult of the jumps to do. Otherwise, it's the same timing. It's just you have a little bit of less leeway on that first guy, but then the rest, easy. Done. Nice. All right, cool. So we cleared with the puzzle completion, no damage, and we're getting hell of money. So yeah, we might be needing to spend some of that here soon. <laughs> All right, let's keep going and probably do another battle. We'll probably skip these guys, but um, we should be a little bit careful because I think there's a hole right on the other side. So might as well take them out. Uh, All right, so you guys are just doing that. Actually, yeah, let's do this. Boom, and there we go. Oh, yeah. Tricky, tricky. And more of this nonsense. Boom. Done and won. Nice. Excellent. So, because these guys were riding away, I figured might as well show this battle too. Why not? Let's see how many times I can get excellent. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Did it work? Yes, it did work. Cool. So, those aren't going to be the only enemies we find down here in the underground, but... It's good to know that we'll be able to take them out pretty easily every what way we turn. So, yeah. I do like the throwback to the other underground theme, but still. Thank you for that. Didn't need it, but 
We'll take it regardless. Ooh, and over here we have some evil eyes. Watch out, because it's the scaredy rats. These guys are real annoying. So, although we attacked first, they're still gonna bludgeon us. So let's see what we need to do here. There's another group we'll be able to use. Uh, yeah, this is easy actually. So we'll do one of these. And another way that it kind of helps you out in determining where to line them up or what groups are with uh, the angry ones. So those are typically gonna be in the same group that you're gonna attack anyways. So easy. And these guys really are kind of a joke. They're sewer Goombas. <laughs> if you have trouble with these guys, I feel for you but it's fine. So, go ahead and hammer it up. Learn our timing a bit on that, because that one's still kind of tricky. And there we have it. Sweet. More and more coins for the life of us. And that will give us another mushroom. Good God, they are really taking care of us. Look at that up there. Give me that. I want that. All right, so we want to be careful, because are there going to be more? Oh, here, oh, 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 okay. Here we have a required fight. No. Well, ah, poor old Mario, <laughs> stuck in the middle again, and it's a wave battle. So starting us off, all right, so this should be a two, and we're just going to have to do some rotatoes. So let's do this, and it, it default, uh-oh, hold on, I think I screwed, no, I did not screw up. Okay, I'm getting confused for some reason, no reason to be confused. Uh, so go ahead and, ooh, good timing, good timing, more. Nice. And eventually I will cheer for some of these toads when I inevitably screw up. So don't worry about it. You'll be able to see how dumb it looks. <laughs> Damn. I'm I'm definitely going too too early on that. Alright, so oh, okay, so we're just okay. So it's being really easy. There we go. Yeah, especially compared to later on. I think I'm thinking way too hard on this. So we use boots on these guys now instead of the old hammer slamma. Boom, jump, and jump, and man. Yeah. And I wonder, I don't know if this is always completely randomized or not. I think they are. So I remember the first rounds of these being a lot harder um, the first time I came through here. So maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't really know. Don't really care. Oh, hey, nice. Nice number. Sweet. Give me all of your confetti. There we go. Sweet. All right, so that should be one of the last battles for a while, so welcome back to the game. I know it's still the same video, but <gasps> darkness, which we cannot proceed into. So, sure, yeah, I will go ahead and light it up, I guess. And check it out, there's the pipe. We need to leave. But unfortunately, we can't get there because there's a lot of water in the way. Yeah, but you can hardly contain yourself when you see a pipe that inviting. You have no idea. Yep, it's all flooded. It's almost like it's a sewer system or something. Surely wouldn't want to get soggy. No way. So we're going to jump down here. Oh, wait, there's another battle here, isn't there? All right, well. No, oh, maybe not. Or maybe there is. Oh, hi, guys. Scaredy rats. Hey, how dare you surround me? All right, let's see what we got here. A couple of angry dudes. Ooh. Tricky, tricky. Okay. So I think, oh, this is weird. All right, let's go ahead and cheer then, shall we? So the more you hold it, the more they'll be able to help you. So we'll just give them a bunch of coins. They'll throw things at them and they'll also line up a couple of them. But the thing is, is that uh, if I just do this, I can do, uh, I don't think that would work is the thing. If I brought those two up and then, whoops, like that, unless, Oh, I, oh shoot, I screwed up. I only had one move. Uh, dang it, I completely screwed myself there. Well, we get to take damage for the first time. Uh, you can also buy time by using the plus, but yeah, that one was kind of tricky. And the way that they just screwed everything up, uh, screwed me up. Uh-oh. And I screwed up the timing on that. I completely botched this battle. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. Jump and jump and jump. There we go. All right, so I should probably, there's three guys here. They're almost dead. Of course, there's no health other than, you know, they look like they're weak. I should probably take these guys out, even though these guys are gonna be mad. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hammer right here. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage here. And 
There we go. There's the excellent. Oh, all right. So obviously you press A right before you get hit to get to guard. Uh, these guys, his timing is weird. Okay. And oh, that's all they're gonna do. Okay. So we can still maybe do something here. I have two rings. I can rotate. Shoot. Maybe I should do something dumb. Like if I do. Yeah. Let's do this. And then I'm gonna do one of these. So there we go. So I can at least do that. Uh, we still have two actions, so we're fine. That's all the damage will take, so we're good. It's it gets rough if you screw one thing up because then it might almost be unsolvable on your next turn. But otherwise, um, it's very easy to just be able to recover. So that was our first of many instances where I'm gonna screw something up really dumb on camera <laughs> during a required fight. There we go, you just don't get as much of a bonus for not doing it perfectly the first time, but most battles are doable the first round without getting hit, so. Yep, the folded soldier certainly hid this magical thing. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, which way do you want me to turn? Like that way? I guess we're, oh, no that was, oh that was the right way. Drown it baby, drown it. Oh yeah. Cool. All right, we're good for that. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way across because we have now found the exit to the stage. Yep, the water disappeared. You don't say. Thank you for that incredible observation. Also treasure, another incredible observation. So collectible number 16. That was a bit of a jump from last time, wasn't it? It's a manhole cover. Perfect, so that is all of the collectible treasures we have found. The first of which uh, is going to be finished off here shortly. So let's go fill this up. And we're gonna head down here for an invisible block. And there it is, thank you for that. The only one that was down here, I think. But we got that. Life is good, fill this in. And yeah, you're not gonna be all of them. We're nearly there. I think this is the last room though. Oh, hey, it's more of you guys. All right, let me exact my revenge. How's that sound? Let's maybe try one of those. There we go, nice. All right, you guys are angry. All right, uh, this is already gonna be dumb, I think. So we have two ring moves. If I move this to the right, that's not gonna help, is it? Uh, let me go ahead and cheer a little bit just so I don't lose more stupid amounts of health. Give me the first move. Oh, all right, that works, I guess. So if I do this, this should work, so there we go. Perfect. All right, well, so we'll start with the old boots and let's actually get our timing down for once. I've been practicing this game on handheld mode and obviously there's very little latency on that regard, uh, but now that I'm recording via capture card, timing's a little bit off, especially with the hammer. There we go. I never see the purple is the thing. I always just do it at the red, but I don't know. So also you get less of a bonus when you use the cheer, but it's fine. We have so many coins that I will actively be trying to waste as many of them as I possibly can. It's absurd. But with that, that is the final of the graffiti spots and the only toad that we need to rescue. Mario. <gasps> Thank you for saving me. Oh, he's getting flushed away. Mario doesn't care. So there we go. We have every part of the Graffiti Underground absolutely completed. I'm still missing, oh, you know what? I know exactly where that bottom, non-bottomless hole is. And the question block, I think I also know where it is. Yeah, and the toad's rescued, okay. Yeah, some are gonna be inside of houses. So again, it's gonna be one of those things where if I miss something the first time, it's not really gonna matter. But here we go. This pipe leads to Peach's castle. How perfect. This is where all of the peach water gets thrown to. <laughs> the waste. Oh boy. Also, I love obligatory save spots. This makes me real nervous. All right. Old Toe Town. We made it to the entrance. This sewer really is pretty neat. For sure. I mean, I suppose we shouldn't celebrate just yet. We need to see if your poor brother's green hat is okay. And also your brother. <laughs> yeah, so. Hooray, hopefully that's gonna get fixed sometime soon. 
But with that having been said and done, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I know it's another short-ish video. I don't know how long you guys prefer these to be. They're daily videos, so um, this is a good stopping point. Next time, we're going to enter the wreckage of Princess Peach's, Peach, Princess Peach's courtyard, and we're going to investigate the wreckage, the destruction, and the rubble in the hopes of finding our dear brother. So join me then, and uh, life will be grand for us, all right? Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I've been enjoying recording it for you guys. It's actually not that bad once you sit down and record it. Playing it by yourself is a little bit of a slog, but you know, if you have an audience that is willing to watch, then there's also an audience willing to not watch, in which case I will see you guys next time. Pixel.